What's up guys, this is Prince Phillips and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a basic maze game in Microsoft PowerPoint 2013. If you have 2010 then you can still make one, but um, <coughs> let's start for now. As you can see I have already created a maze here, but if you want you can create one for yourself. It's just that, you know, I needed to get it done quick. So basically here I have the starting button and here I have the end button and this is just the maze that's the background so basically what I wanted to do is when I'm hovering my mouse cursor here if it touches the background then it's going to take me to this slide which I created and this is the basically game over slide now you can make one for yourself and um, yeah to do this you just like create a new slide put text on and then just add a hyperlinks and basically what you need to do is to to create a game over hyperlink just click, um, go in your background wherever you may and uh, click on it and go on insert a action now go on mouse over hyperlink to slide whichever slide you want it to go to for me it's slide 2 then you go on slide 2 and um, then when you've done that you just need to go back on slide 2 and um, go on the retry button or whatever button you create and <coughs> we're not gonna go in action well if you want to but hyperlink here so place in this document on slide 1 so this is how it's going to look slideshow from current slide so let's say if we over here and we hit the background it's just going to take us there now we retry it's going to take us back now you may be wondering that when you click here it just randomly the cursor just randomly appears anywhere now to sort this what you can do is just duplicate this and um, to make it more stylish, this is what you could do. Add, add a shape on, just like make. I'll, I'll, I'll make it orange, and um, more gradients, transparency. So yeah, just one second. Just um. Now I'm going to bring this forward. Now it's going to look like this. Once I click here, it's going to take me to slide two, and then. I'm rolling, so it's basically like this. I click here, I'm I'm here, I die. But retry to change the retry, you just relink the hyperlink. So it's gonna take me back to slide one. So this is how it's looking. Click here, I'm playing. I go here, then retry. Click here again, then it's doing it. Here I have a more complex level which I created for myself for myself before. <coughs> So if you want to see this in action, then this is how it's going. Okay, this is the first tutorial. This is the icon telling me to click on this button. I click here. It's going to take me there. Then I'm just going to go along with this, and then I'm going to click here. As you can see, this is like um, a trigger button. It's like creating two different mazes at once, and if when I click here it's gonna go down and you can also see this appears so this this is in case I die and I can't press the button again I come from here now what oh well so you know you know what it is now so yeah that's about it so this was just a simple tutorial on how to create a basic from start to end maze game in my next video I'll be showing you how to make it more complex like this and how to add more hyperlinks and different animations and attackers and um, all sorts of things Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, thank you.